They lost that exhibition game by two on a late shot. Sagaba Kanate steps back. Kanate, the big man. Kanate, contested three. Jordan pushing it quickly to Graves. Kanate with two for West Virginia, but you're right. Buffalo is countered with some pressure of their own. Kanate wide open. And it was a two point. It's down to a two point game. That's an ever improved shot. There's no doubt about that. Perkins trying to put Kanate on a poster, but misses. So they face guard, they deny, they press you. Sometimes you get a five second call that time. Buffalo got it in before the press even got started. Wide open. A big right hand from Issa Amai. And finally, that, what's that do? That opens up the inside. Mid range jumper. Off of Kanate. Blocked by Kanate. So patient. And here's Harris from the right wing. With 15 to play in the first half. Tipped by Kanate and taken away. Space and angle a good move in the lane. Kanate with Perkins' hand in his face. Player to step up beyond the big three. Seen that twice from him tonight, both times in traffic. Kanate again. Right now, Lavender with the pass across to Bakari Edelin, now guarded by Kanate, and they force the turnover. Kanate with Napper loses the handle, gets it back in. Here's Issa Ahmad in the paint with the right handed scoop. Driving inside amongst the big trees, gets it to Derek Smith's one on one with Kanate, and Smith's with the overhand hook off the glass. Given the success that Smith's had in the first half. Sags Kanate tries the three, and he buries the three. Communicating and figuring out where everybody is. And, and you're looking at Ahmad as a block by Smith's on Kanate. And look at that for a little Thanksgiving weekend stuffing. There's got to be some more communication. Quick movement by Napper. Kanate going to try another three, and he's feeling it. Almost four minutes into the second half. Kanate again. Oh, boy. Well, he's in the zone. Let him keep going. Let him keep going. Wide open shot. There are some guys you lock up on and say, wherever he goes, you go. Yep. And that's just a mental error break. Lamont West getting his turn from beyond the arc. Haley gives to Kanate. Kanate with 15 on the shot clock. He'll try the three. And once again, Kanate buries the three. You get a look at that three pointer by Kanate. Well, that's one thing that Sags knows. If he's going to get to the next level, he's got to work on that part of his game. McCabe takes a look at the big trees and says, no thanks. And here they come, as Warren said a second ago. Wow! Kanate! Pump fakes from three and drives in and draws the contact, Warren. From the perimeter. That was a smart play by him. He knew yeah. he was coming out hard. He pump faked him, got that dribble, and got by him and made the bucket. And this is kind of a, a thing, Warren, as a big man yourself, you know what that's like trying to realize your I think he realized that now we're going to try to work the ball down low. Sags, the quick hands, gets possession in tight. Gets one to bounce up and in. Minute number 23 this afternoon. Hasn't taken a ton of shots. Does have five assists, Sags. Kanate, can he do it again? Yes, he can do it again. The lie by Kanate and has it stripped away. Battling and Bolden has it back. Inside the Kanate. That is the point of a 1-3-1 to try to get you to take contested threes. Kanate spins. Nice move by Kanate. It's going to be really important for the Mountaineers to win the rest of these non-conference games, too. You don't want to go into the conference play with more than two losses. And a jump hook by Kanate goes down. Just stay a decent amount away from any other player. If you get stacked up, then one defender can guard two, and that's when it gets difficult to move the ball. Back door, Bohan. Oh, rejected by Sags Kanate and chased down by Bolden. Ahead to Ahmad, and Easter finishes on the other end. The thing that he, the timing that he has is just unbelievable. It is. I think you meant to. Bank does not open at 5 o'clock on a Saturday. Unless your name it is works, it works. Oh, and Sags Kanate. That will lay it in. He's got a finger on it. Well, quickly closing in on the all-time block record. He's definitely going to get there. Oh, yeah. Maybe today.
There's Kanate in the post. Splits the double team and gets the right hand to go. It's not hard. Two steps ahead. Right now it's West Virginia who's ahead. Jump hook by Kanate. I like it. I like it. High 30s this year, minutes wise, if he's healthy. And Deer blocked from Ahmad. That's the third block for West Virginia. Make it four, courtesy of Sags Kanate. Does that look familiar? Where have we seen that before? Napper off the window. Defense leads to offense. And Kanate's defense. Really Feet in the paint. Short. He gets it back. And Kanate with the flush. No, a veteran staff is saying, look, let's get it, let's get it under control and pull the whistle. There's another block by Kanate, his second of the game. Junior versus the zone. They're moving bodies and the ball well. Third three of the game for Bolden. And the challenge, and Kanate erases it. Very good. You could say the same for West Virginia. They have a 12-point lead, now it's 14. First bucket in the second half. Well, Jeff Capel, when he came back to Duke from, uh, watch out here. That's what we're talking about. That's the first two-handed block I can remember seeing today. This is the guy that they've been looking for. Take a look. Two hands, vertical. Pitt chopping wood this second half, trying to get back in this backyard brawl. McGowan's blocked from Guess behind. Who? Guess who? And Bolton pays it on that block from Saxe First of all, I love McGowan's. This kid just keeps coming. And now more full court pressure from West Virginia. Here's McGowan's. Tried to throw it down on Kanate and he missed. Kanate. For Mike Krzyzewski. At, uh, at Duke. And there you see it for Joe Wooten, Morgan's son at Bishop O'Connell. Bolden. Whoa! Ten nominee from Beetle Bolden to yep. Sagaba Kanate. And here, here's the icing on the cake today. This young man missed his first two shots.